Let's take a look at creating some charts from the information that we completed during the first day of putting together this concession stand worksheet. At this point, your worksheet should look like this. We've calculated total revenue, percent of sales, and then we have a grand total for our total revenue, adding up all of these columns. Let's go ahead and start with, let's start with a column graph of the quantity of products that were sold. So we're going to create a chart or a graph, and a graph is a essentially a picture of the numbers or a picture of the data that tell a story about what occurred. So to start off with, we'll start with a very simple one. We'll start with a column chart or column graph, and here are the steps to create that. First of all, select these values here for the quantity. I'll do that again. Once again, don't do this. Don't don't select any blanks like that. We want to select just the values. And then from the main menu, click Insert. And then navigate over to the Chart section. And come up here to Column Charts. And drop that selection box down. And then we'll start with these two-dimensional column charts, 2D, and we'll select the first one, just a very basic clustered column chart. Now, once that comes up, you can move that wherever you like. And I'm going to go in here and get rid of this by hiding the comment so it's out of our way. There we go. So we got a basic chart. Chart title would go here. Here are the values. And here on the x-axis are labels that we need to go in and our first step will be to identify those. Item number one, if you look over here, you'll see is hot dogs. So we need to go in and select that data and make sure we get that changed. But just take a look here. And so what this is representing is that it's showing that we sold 250 hot dogs as represented by this column. And indeed, there it is, the 250 right there. 300 on item 2, which is the nachos, and our biggest selling item as far as volume, quantity was this 400 here, which is uh, are the drinks. So step number one is to point to this area of your chart. Right click and choose select data. Two main choices here. We've got the horizontal axis, which is this here. And then we have our series of data, and the series is represented by these values. So let's start here by getting some labels put on here so we can have our hot dogs and nachos there. Step one, click on Edit. And then it's prompting us for the axis labels. And so what you can do is just simply select the labels and it will create this range of cells here. It'll have the sheet number or the sheet name and then the range of cells here, A7 through A14. And then you can see a little sample of it and there it is, listed right there. Click OK. And then we'll want to edit this series name to actually name what we have here and our name is product. So click Edit, Series Name, there's two ways you can do this. You could go ahead and type in something, or you could just simply select that cell, and it will put the contents of that cell there. And the other way to do it, like I said, was you can come in here and actually type in concession products sold. Something like that. And then you can see it put our title in right there. And then click OK. And there it is. So that's a basic column chart. So once you get that far, call me over to your workstation and we'll take a look at it. And make sure you save it. And then we can move on to the next video where we will look at some other features of creating charts.